Good morning. My name is Andrew Sainsa, and we're here to have with the Calls of the Canyons News Network and the Fire Technologies Program. The subject of this broadcasting is the Boise Fire Department in Idaho. There's three things I want to talk to you today about. That is the history, the present state, and the future plans of the Boise Fire Department. Boise Fire Department has an extensive and rich history. Boise, the state capital of Idaho, organized 28 men on January 24, 1876, to form a volunteer fire department. This, the first fire station, was adopted in April of 1876 from the George Washington Stilts blacksmith shop. This single-story building was converted to fit the need of the volunteer firefighters and housed one engine and one ladder company. Seven years later, the fire station was moved to a temporary building after being burned down. Nearly three months later, on December 15, 1883, the first custom-made fire station was dedicated. This two-story double bay fire station was referred to as the City Hall Station and was in use on December 15, 1883. The name was given as a result of the second story being used as offices for Boise City Hall. Six years later, this fire station would be renamed the Central Fire Station and the original building is still in use today. At the turn of the century, the mayor and city councilmen proposed a full paid fire department. In the summer of 1902, the volunteer, fire, the volunteer firefighters disbanded as the professional department was underway. The fire department now consisted of one part-time chief, two part-time assistant chiefs, three drivers, one assistant driver, one engineer, one hose man, and pay call firefighters. At this time, the fire department expanded to three stations the Central, Idaho Street, and Rizigui stations. In the same summer of 1902, the Central Fire Station received horses to help aid firefighter duties. A year later, the first full-time fire chief, E.B. Tage, was hired. Ten years later, the fire department expanded again. In 1912, 17 firefighters and two stations were added. During the Great Depression of the 1920s and 30s, many firefighters were forced to take pay cuts as staffing was decreased. To keep fires minimal, the Boise Fire Department showed greater presence in the community as fire prevention programs were launched. In 1932, educational programs and fire inspections started to be used. In 1935, the first Fire Prevention Week was established, and three years later, the fire inspect inspector position was created. Suddenly, in the 1940s, Boise's population inflated and so did the fire department in order to modernize. Two more stations were added to benefit the larger population. In the early 50s, a fire combat training program came into effect as well as the first state fire school. At the end of the 1950s, the radio dispatch center was also updated. The Boise Fire Department received a Class 3 Insurance Service Organization, or ISO, rating on September 1, 1958. Six major structure fires also plagued the 1950s. These buildings included the the Sona building the Mode department store the Tinny Sun transfer storage the Sprouse Ritz variety store the Gem State wholesale drug store and the HB Eastman Mansion. In the mid-1960s, Boise Fire Department created a sixth station and established a three-platoon schedule. This schedule increased the number of firefighters to 107. For the first time in 1964, the number of alarms grew to the thousands. In the years of 1965 and 66, Boise Fire Department constructed an aircraft rescue, firefighting, ARC unit, and station at Boise Air Terminal. As the fire department grew, it split into five subsections, administration, fire prevention, combat, training, and maintenance. In late 1960s, fire department employees grew to 139 employees, as well as another fire station. In a five-year stretch from 1972 to 1977, 14 new vehicles and equipment were purchased. In 1979, the city of Boise passed the Idaho State Firefighter Collective Bargaining Act, 
allowing recognition and bargaining with the local firefighters union. Through a 14% budget cut in 1979, layoffs and demotions were used in all five divisions of the fire department. And as Boise grew to accommodate 102,000 residents in 1981 and 82, fire damages grew to surpass $1 million. In 1982, because of an arson spree, it damages rose to $2.46 million. In the 1980s, many firefighters' positions began to fill again, and the fire alarm dispatch office was closed as the dispatch was taken over by Ada County Sheriff's Office. By the end of the 80s, Boise Fire Department responded to more than 7,000 calls annually. In 1991, a training di division center was created and 13 functional fire stations were in use. In the mid-90s, Boise Fire incorporated many new areas, causing a need for more fire stations. On January 23, 2006, the Fire Department of Boise moved to advanced life support operations staffing two engine companies with firefighter paramedics. I just talked about the extensive and rich history of the Boise Fire Department. Now I'm going to talk about the current condition of the fire department. Currently, the Boise Fire Department employs 258 people and operates 15 fire stations. A hazardous materials team, an ARC team, and a dive slash technical rescue team. Also, the department utilizes 115 apparatuses from engines, trucks, and specialized equipment. With a population of 222,000 and growing in a 98 square mile area, the Boise Fire Department responds to over 16,500 incidents a year. Firefighters work a two day on, three day off schedule, or 4896. I just talked about the, the current Boise Fire Department, and now I'm going to talk about the future plans. The future plans of the Boise Fire Department include Further develop paramedic firefighters within the departments Educate young and old in fire prevention tactics to help save lives. Specific training in order to help save lives in disasters, both natural and accidental. And upgrade basic fire equipment like engines and trucks to further carry on jobs. These are a few of the future goals of Boise Fire Department in order to continue to save lives and keep up a great legacy. Now to close this broadcast. I hope you have learned some useful information about the history, current, and future legacy of Boise, Idaho Fire Department. The Boise Fire Department has been proudly running for 135 years. This is Andrew Sainstead signing off with Calls of the Canyons News Network and the Fire Technologies Program. Enjoy your day.